You can call, you can write, you can text, email, or even Skype. No matter which method you choose, it's all about being on the cutting edge of technology. And that's very important when it comes to getting your message out. And that's exactly what the Marriage Museum has been doing for the last several years, with a program that has only gotten bigger and better with time. By helping to bring the museum and its message to school kids all across the country and all around the world. This is the IVC Studios. All right, good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Okay, very good. All right, well, my name is Brian. Welcome. I work at the Mariners Museum here in Newport News, Virginia. Well, we are standing right now in the IVC Studios. IVC standing for Interactive Video Conferencing. And it's also our education area where we have our education offices. And from the three studios that we have for video conferencing, we are able to transmit programs to schools around the country and also around the world. Anybody know what this might be? No. This really sparked the Europeans' imagination and, and what really set them off in, in exploring their world and trying to find these spices, the source of these spices. And peppercorns came from India, right here, okay? And Sri Lanka down here. We started in 2002 where we did a very long distance broadcast all the way to, I believe it was Macintosh Elementary. And um, from that point on, we have grown with our program. We have um, found different means of promoting what we can do here at the Mariners Museum. And so now we are, we have a, a range that is limitless. Well, I guess it's limited to the world right now. We haven't figured out how to go out into outer space, but we are able to go anywhere in the world where the school has the equipment to connect in with us. We have schools who find out about our programs from a number of different sources, um, various websites that are out there. Also, we promote our programs on our own website. And we then book the program. We have about 12 to 14 different programs that we offer. And with those programs, students can learn about science and history and language arts, all from the Mariners Museum. And we connect in through video conferencing. So going over the internet to provide programming to schools around the world. So 1492, we know Columbus sailed the ocean blue, right? It's really great. It's, it's exciting to see. Um, lots of times when we're doing on the IBC, the kids don't realize that we can see them. And that's kind of fun uh, once they realize that, hey, this is really a two-way. It's an interaction between somebody on the TV, but it really, it's really like being in the classroom. And really, that, that's where it counts is the interactiveness between uh, myself or the teacher and, and the kids, wherever, if they're in Massachusetts or we've had some Spain and Singapore, wherever we're, wherever we're going to, it's exciting to be on that cutting edge. And certainly, if, if you're not going to be there, then it, it's going to be, um, you, you, you have to be there. And that's just, it is kind of the future, it is uh, learning through uh, different ways other than having people in a, sitting in a classroom or sitting inside your museum. Exactly. We've been going around to different facilities and different locations. We're doing our research to see what, um, what's available. And what we're really impressed with here is that the teacher interaction that we saw today was really dynamic. With this, um, with, with this technology, the teachers are able to speak, they're able to um, move around, they're able to show all of their different equipment. And so it's not a talking head. That was our original concern about wh what is this going to look like. And so this really looks just like a classroom. The video conferencing, the interactive video conferencing that we're using, you know, starting off very small. We started off in a trailer. And we have now our own facility here at the Mariners Museum. And with this technology and with having three studios that can run simultaneously, it's just amazing what the Mariners Museum is doing to reach out not just to people in the city of Newport News and in the, the Tidewater area, but also to people around the world.